welcome to my channel i am sprightly abby the nigerian gamer and today i'll be showing you some tips and tricks on how to win slime climb in four guys ultimate knockout um believe it or not the win ratio or win percentage for this particular obstacle course is about 40 percent meaning a lot of people actually find it very difficult completing this course hopefully at the end of this video i can help increase your odds of winning uh, do leave a like on this video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new so you don't miss out on videos like this okay so first things first um as you saw from the clip or you or you're seen from the clip uh there's a quick short court and like completing the first part of this obstacle course which is jumping on the balloons to give yourself like a uh, like a boost to basically bypass some of the earlier stages or like the yeah the first earlier stage but you have to remember that most people are starting to like pick up on this so uh, uh, the cluster of people or the accumulation of people in that beginning course might be very intense so you might have to go through the traditional routes which is like going in from the entrance um the next part of this entire obstacle course is rolling balls uh you'd want to stay towards the edge and uh yeah that way you can basically you know avoid most of the balls rolling down hill the next part of this obstacle course will be the moving platforms as you can see from the clip uh, there's actually a short course you can take in bypassing the first uh, moving platform so you go in through that crevice you jump up uh, on the second platform and uh, just try and make your way through the moving platforms again just like the uh, balloon uh, a trick or short courts many people are starting to pick up on this so again it's really a matter of how early you get there and uh you know if you get there early enough to use the short courts i'll say go for it if not then again use the traditional entry which is uh starting from the entrance next up we have the conveyor belt uh as with everything else um as with everything else i always really try to stay towards the edge as much as i possibly can uh and i just basically breezed through it now this balance beam it's like it's really tricky it's really requires a lot of like patience and luck um to basically get through the balance beam but um you know try and always aim to jump towards the middle of the beam and uh, that should uh, basically get you through quite smoothly next up we have the rotating armors uh for this one i usually try to stay towards the middle or like go towards the middle of the swing rotating armors and uh, i just kind of like breeze through it uh for this next uh moving platforms um usually sometimes because a lot of people uh go through the platform they kind of like uh, uh disturb the pattern in which the platform moves um so uh, remember that they're actually uh, very 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 thin crevices in between the platforms as you can see that you can you know stand and wait for the platforms to uh uh, move back into the wall before you can make or before you can push forward but as i said i was fortunate enough to be to have been able to just uh you know move through the platforms the way i did but um there's a very 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 small space in between the platforms that you can wait just for the platform to move back into the wall before you move forward next up we have the slime trail uh for this one i just kind of like time you know time everything and just kind of like make my way through uh it's all about timing people um uh but for the slime trail please make sure to uh not stay towards the edge if you can try to stay in the in the middle as much as you can because uh staying towards the edge is gonna you know increase the risk of you getting pushed off the course and uh what people don't realize is that this is this obstacle course is called slime climb meaning uh the slime is actually slowly rising that's why most people get eliminated when like you know they get pushed of course uh they be like oh you know they can restart or, like you know they can just you know stand back up and restart but uh the slime as i said is slowly climbing in this obstacle course so you know the perfection is actually a necessity for this particular course that's why most people fail but as i said hopefully um this video 
basically gave you uh, some new insights in beating this uh, monster of a course and uh, do leave a like on this video if it helps and uh, subscribe to this channel for more Fall Guys Ultimate Knockouts tips and tricks um, videos and gameplays and uh, new skins updates and whatnot okay until my next video I hope to see more of you on this channel and peace